Speak English and Punjabi. Habla inglés y español. Speak English and Arabic. Wahan ko hala Somali y English. Speak English and Chinese. Awadi English and Yana Maranya. Speak English and Vietnamese. Gawaiti pa angwiski y paruski. Speak English and Khmer. It's pretty well known in our country that, you know, when you speak another language at home, uh, other than English, people often view that as a deficit. And it's unfortunate because the truth is, we live in an increasingly global society, and speaking another language at home is going to be a huge asset, not just to the child, not just to the family, but to our country and to our culture. We were talking about hopefully visit Cambodia one day and hoping that Andy could be able to speak fluent Khmer so he'd be able to communicate or talk to our family that live back home. I could speak Khmer, that means I could understand Khmer too. They could tell me a joke. Before I couldn't understand, but now I actually laugh to it, not <laughs> like before. As I get older, they realize, wait a minute, speaking two, three languages is awesome. And speaking Khmer, it's even better because it's the language already part of our family, of our culture. It's very natural for kids to learn language. It's very natural for them to learn more than two languages, three languages at the time. Now I'm trying to learn Russian also from grandparents and teachers. So many people spend hours and hours on sports, which is awesome, but if they spent just a fraction of that focused on language, they would be giving their kid a, a whole other tool. It should be fun. It never should be uh, something that we have to make kids do. He not always replies back Russian to me when I speak to him, but as long as he understands me, as long as he can read in Russian, I am happy. When there is a need, he will pull the language and use it, as long as I keep speaking Russian and he hears it every day. I was actually born in another country, but moved away when I was very young, so my entire family spoke French, but me, and they never taught me. And I was like, not angry, but I was like, you should have taught me French. Everybody in my family spoke French. I'm not gonna do that to him, and I want him to learn another language. The Arabic school starts because the community really need to make sure the kids will not lose the first language. We are just encouraging the students to know more about their culture, about their country, to be more confident about who they are. It's not just language, it's culture, it's your life back home, it's your people. We're not just preparing kids to graduate from high school, we're not just preparing kids to to be ready for careers, but we're, we're preparing kids to be global citizens. It's important that kids see that they have the capacity to actually make change. Speak English and Chinese. Speak English and Spanish. Speak English and Somali. Speak English and Arabic. It'll give them access to so many relationships with so many people, but more importantly, it'll show them how beautiful different cultures are, and it'll show them that our way is not the only way. I think it's just being patient. They will learn. 